Your word is your wand. Dame Lillian Walker shares the teachings of Florence Scovel Shin, audiobook and text. This audiobook brought to you by Love and Money Secrets TV. Chapter 4, Happiness. In that wonderful movie picture, The Thief of Baghdad, we were told in letters of light that happiness must be earned. It is earned through perfect control of the emotional nature. There can be no happiness where there is fear, apprehension, or dread. With perfect faith in God comes a feeling of security and happiness. When man knows that there is an invincible power that protects him and all that he loves and brings to him every righteous desire of the heart, he relaxes all nervous tension and is happy and satisfied. He is undisturbed by adverse appearances, knowing that infinite intelligence is protecting his interests and utilizing every situation to bring his good to pass. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in a desert. Uneasy lies the head that wears a frown. Anger, resentment, ill will, jealousy, and revenge rob man of his happiness and bring sickness, failure, and poverty in their wake. Resentment has ruined more homes than drink and killed more people than war. For example, there was a woman who was healthy and happy and married to a man she loved. The man died and left part of his estate to a relative. The woman was filled with resentment. She lost weight, was unable to do her work, developed gallstones, and became very ill. A metaphysician called upon her one day. He said, Woman, see what hate and resentment have done to you? They have caused hard stones to form in your body, and only forgiveness and goodwill can cure you. The woman saw the truth of the statement. She became harmonious and forgiving and regained her splendid health. Affirmations. I am now deluged with happiness that was planned for me in the beginning. My barns are full, my cup flows over with joy. My endless good now comes to me in endless ways. I have a wonderful joy in a wonderful way, and my wonderful joy has come to stay. Happy surprises come to me each day. I look with wonder at that which is before me. I walk boldly up to the lion on my pathway and find it is a friendly Airedale. I am harmonious, happy, radiant, detached from the tyranny of fear. My happiness is built upon a rock. It is mine now and for all eternity. My good now flows to me in a steady, unbroken, ever-increasing stream of happiness. My happiness is God's affair. Therefore, no one can interfere. As I am one with God, I am now one with my heart's desire. I give thanks for my permanent happiness, my permanent health, my permanent wealth, my permanent love. I am harmonious, happy, and divinely magnetic, and now draw to me my ships over a calm sea. God's ideas for me are perfect and permanent. My heart's desire is a perfect idea in divine mind, incorruptible and indestructible, and now come to pass under grace in a magical way.